Now, during the darkest days of World War II, while bombs fell on London, a brilliant mathematician named Alan Turing was cracking Nazi code that helped win the war. But his biggest idea came in 1950 when he asked a simple question, can machines understand human language? Now, this birthed through what we call today as natural language processing, the science that powers all the AI assistants which we use today. Now, Turing invented a simple test. If you sit and chat with someone and using text and you're not able to figure out whether it's a machine or a human, machine wins. But tragically, Turing was arrested for being gay and forced to choose between a prison or a chemical treatment, a decision that ultimately led to his early death at 41. It's heartbreaking to think that someone's sexuality could derail scientific progress so severely. Who knows what other breakthroughs in AI and natural language technology Turing might have created if society had simply let him live his life. Decades later, uh, British Prime Minister Gordon Brown apologized in 2009. Queen Elizabeth II pardoned him in 2013. And the Alan Turing Law pardoned thousands of men convicted under anti-gay laws. And his face also appeared on 50 pound note. Now, every time you speak to Siri or get help from a chatbot, you're experiencing the future that Turing first imagined. A world where machines can understand our words, even if his world failed to understand him.